What's up, y'all? Halloween is right around the corner, and Domino's here in Korea came out with a Halloween-themed pizza. Or is it a Pokemon-themed pizza? I don't know. It's kind of both. As you can see on the box, it says Pokemon Halloween. And it this pizza is supposedly shaped like a Pokeball. I haven't looked at it yet, even though there is no safety seal on this pizza. Um, I haven't looked at it. Take my word for it. So we're going to be checking that out together. Here in a second, I had to get this in a set. That was the only option, so it came with this 1.25 liter of Coke and either wings or pasta, and I chose wings. I don't think I've ever tried wings from Domino's, so kind of curious to see what those taste like. Anyway, this all came out to about $24.50, so not a bad price. And uh, yeah, you know, I had to scoop this up while I could. I did a, like a chicken nugget Pokemon video a while ago, and uh, I talked a lot about Pokemon in that video. So I probably won't be talking about that in this video. I don't know what I'm going to be talking about in this video because I'm a little bit caught off guard. When I ordered this, it said it was going to take 90 minutes, which is insane for Domino's, but it actually came in 20. So a um, little bit flustered here, but let's take a look at this pizza. Let me try to show you this box one more time before we open the lid and never see it again. Kind of cool, I guess, for the kids. Pokemon making a resurgence, man. It's crazy. All right, it smells good. Let's check it out. I'll let y'all get the first glimpse. Does it look like a Pokeball? And is it cut? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, damn. That actually, that actually does look like a Pokeball. And it is cut. And it's smelling freaking good, man. It's looking good. I can't even lie. I did not have high expectations for this pizza. I had low expectations. And this, just so far, the visuals are kind of blowing me away. Little bird's eye view here. And if you look, take a closer look, you can see that the red part is made up of tomatoes and pepperonis, which looks pretty good to me. This middle part is some kind of cheese or sauce or a combination of both. Maybe like a cheese sauce. Um, because this is looking pretty saucy over here, but I don't know about that. The, this black part or brown part is bulgogi. So that should be interesting to try. And then apparently the white part right here is just like ricotta cheese. And probably like a cream sauce for the base. And this probably has tomato sauce. There are three options for the dough at Domino's. There are There's thin crust, there's original crust, and there's Napoli crust. At least here in Korea. I've never had Napoli crust and I went with that today and it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty intriguing. So I've been trying out some new things today that I never tried before. Let's get into this pizza. Let's see how the slices pull out with this white part in the middle. Um, I have no idea how this is going to work here. Yeah, not too bad. So like the first bite, you're going to get some of that sauce and then it's going to kind of change throughout the slice. Here is the bottom of this quote-unquote Napoli style crust, which is supposed to be thin, thinner than the original, but thicker than the thin crust, so. Going in. Mm-hmm. I have with that. Um, that ain't bad at all. I like the crust on that, and I like the flavors. This, I feel like I've been missing on a lot of, like, most of the previous Domino's videos I've been doing. And they come out with, like, a, I think that one of the last ones I did was, like, some kind of patty melt pizza or something, man. I don't know. American cheeseburger pizza. They come out with these things, and they're bogus. But so far, I'm liking this one. Let me taste some of this meat on its by itself because I definitely tasted some of this bulgogi and it wasn't offensive to me even though usually throwing you know Korean style meat marinated like bulgogi on a pizza would probably offend me got a chewy piece hmm that's not a bad flavor though it's interesting because like I was saying the first bite you're gonna get the bulgogi and the Whatever this part is, the cheese sauce or whatever, I'll investigate that on this bite right here. So maybe a lot of the ricotta is up in this middle part. The 
that next bite, that middle bite with just the bulgogi was not bad. Can't lie. And now for the pepperoni and tomatoes. Mm. I'm liking this pizza so far. Ah, by the way, as per usual, they gave me sweet pickles, which I don't need. They gave me some garlic dipping sauce, which I don't like the Domino's one. Papa John's are bust, in my opinion, at least here in Korea. They also gave me some sweet chili sauce, which I've, they've never given me before, and some hot sauce, which I probably don't need any of these sauces, by the way. Uh, let me try this white piece here before I try these wings. So I feel like this one will be pretty much the same, but different. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Way different, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm figuring out the sauce that they're using on this as I'm eating this. And I'm definitely detecting some truffle. I believe they're using like a truffle cream sauce uh, and then cheese on top of that. And I'm not sure if they're putting gorgonzola mixing in with this or just in here or where, the, not gorgonzola, sorry, ricotta, where, what they're doing with that. It might just be here. Because I wasn't getting too much ricotta flavor up on this part. Mostly just a, a, a nice kind of truffly. It wasn't too strong. Truffle for me, it should be a compliment. Not the not the whole thing. And that's a lot of times you run into that problem where it's like you order something with truffle and it's like just truffle. But like that's that's what i feel like people do with sauces sometimes it's like they put too much sauce and then all you can taste is the sauce um but but with this one it's actually a good balance can't lie this would be a great pizza to split between two people who you know one person likes a white pie, one person likes a normal pie. But you still, each piece does have some bulgogi so you can talk about the flavors together. I, I do prefer this, but it's a Pokeball pizza, man. What are you going to do? Let me try these wings out real quick, man. There's zero chance these are gonna be buffalo flavored. They only have, on their menu, hot wings, so. Yeah, uh, zero buffalo scent whatsoever. But could be just a decent, like, you know, plain wing, which I don't mind. It's just that when you advertise something as buffalo wings, you expect a buffalo wing. 99% of the time around here, you, uh, you look at the menu and it says buffalo wings and you get this. It's just a plain wing. I'll tell you what. That ain't bad at all. That is not bad. All right, let me just say it's good. I like it. I like these wings. And it's a shame that they don't have a buffalo option over here. Let me dump these out, man. I guess what I could do is to take some of this hot sauce, which is kind of like a Tabasco, I'm assuming. Just drizzle some of that on. Oh, just make it a little bit messy in this one. I always like to see. I'm not a wing master. I have a specific technique though. Like I like to get one of these little bones out for the flats. 
and kind of like usually get minimal meat and then just toss that. And then you still get a good hold on the end of the other bone, the big bone. And just do one of those and then you can pick at the ends if you want. But the true masters, like, they'll just fiddle with it real quick, make a couple of quick snaps and just tear it off like that. But so if you're not a master and you know the technique, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I know kind of what you're supposed to do. Wiggle it around. Take one of the bones out. And then the other one, like that. And then you have fresh meat. And you can just dip it. But I'm not very good at that, so. Every time I do it, I get my hands more messy than they should be. Yeah, it's a solid meal though. This one, this could use a little bit more work. This white pie, I'm thinking Truffle is a decent element. I think, I don't know, maybe white mushrooms thrown on here. Cause you gotta keep it white. So I'm thinking maybe a different mix of herbs and spices, garlic. I'm liking this crust though. The two side pieces on the white ones have much more meat rolling down the side. I'm glad they did that on the white part instead of the pepperoni part. That makes sense. If they would have put the all this the strip of meat on this part, that would have been insane. But they actually put it on the white part, so they did their research and then you kind of fold this and you can get kind of like a little little cheesesteak pizza right here. Let's see. Yeah. So the side white pieces are definitely better than the, the two mid white pieces there. Tomatoes on pizza as a topping. Always throw me for a bit of a loop. I've never known what to think about it. Because there's tomatoes in the sauce. I mean, it's tomato sauce. So, doubling down on the tomatoes. Every time I get a pizza and it has like tomatoes on it, whether they're fresh or sun dried or whatever, I always pause for a second. I'm like, I don't know about it. I haven't thought about it enough to determine if it's like a good thing or a bad thing though. What do y'all think? Tomatoes as a topping on pizza. You know what? I think I will try this sweet chili sauce. Since I haven't had it before. Oh. Very syrupy. Better than I expected, actually. Not too bad. But, don't really need it. Mm-hmm. Domino's wings, I'll get those again. Like, do you even have like plain wings? Is that even an option in America or other places? Like, I feel like that's not even a thing, but it's a thing over here. Anyway, y'all, last piece, cheers.
fully satisfied with that meal. Uh, for a gimmick pizza, the presentation, I think, is usually, you're not buying it for the ultimate flavors, I feel like. And so, you're kind of buying it for the kids, or for like a party, just to, to wow the crowd, because of the presentation. I liked the presentation, and I actually liked the, well, I really liked the top part. The white part, uh, the side pieces were good, but the plain pieces weren't as good. But still, better than I thought it would be. I thought it would be bogus, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the wings, I'm happy with this meal. I'm, I'm trying not to drink, like, original Coke, just because, like, I don't know. I could, I could one-shot this. Mm, I don't know. Could I one-shot this? But that's 550 calories right there. I could easily drink this like in, like, five minutes. And that's, that just ain't it for me, man. Would have been nice if they gave me a Coke Zero. I'm one of those. One of those people. But, yeah, here's the box again one more time. I guess they got some license. They're talking about, uh, what are they talking about on the back of here? That's Nintendo Creatures Tokyo something. I can't really read that at all, but I'm a cool gimmick here. I like this one. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm skating out of here. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.